up, y'all. What's popping? What's going down in the life of a Scorpio, baby? What's going down? <laughs> y'all showed up and showed out, y'all, between those uh those mid month August videos. Y'all showed y'all ace of toe. Y'all showed y'all aces. So thank you. Thank you very, very much. Because of that, I'm going in the order of the view. So bam. <laughs> you in the world. You're second. Okay. It was Gemini first, then Scorpio. Because y'all was really running neck and neck. I had to literally give y'all a day to see who was going. Because y'all was neck and neck. Okay. So we rocking. All right. Um, my Scorpio babies. Y'all energy feels. Usually I be like, oh my goodness, Scorpio, what's going on? Y'all, I feel a, the, it's like a, a, a level of harmony. You know what I'm saying? Like things coming together, right? So this is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, boo, hey. Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot Channel. I'm Mocha. Um, I may cuss a little bit, may cuss a lot, depending on what the hell these cards say. To all the new subscribers, old subscribers, new subscribers, welcome to the family, boo. Okay? We're going to grow. We're going to continue to evolve. We don't fight. We don't fuss. We don't do all of that shit. We uplift. We enlighten. We share. Okay? And we support one another. We family. All right? Um, also, to the old subscribers, hey, y'all. What the hell y'all been doing? I miss y'all. I know you miss me back. You ain't got to tell me. I'm empathic. I feel that shit. I love <laughs> this is not a uh, it's not a personal. It is a general, okay? If you need a personal, feel free to hit me up. This is what I do 25-8, all right? So I will definitely be available for um, those readings. Also, if you would like to get a 10-minute reading, okay, this will be the last week that y'all better get a me. <laughs> um... But that will be for 10 minutes for $10, okay? Uh, as of September 1st, that reading will be non-existent. RIP to $10 shit, okay? I, it's not personal. It's just the fact that I have to kind of overexert myself. And I'm learning that the people who spend $10, y'all can feel me on this. I couldn't go. So I can ramble about certain things with each side. That certain, them $10, readings, some of them people be some, not all of them. Not all of them at all. About 25% of them, though, are hell. Hell and headaches. I pass, sis. I pass, bro. So, to alleviate, okay, um, all of the just, the, the energy I don't want during this time, you know, I had to actually choose self-worth for me and stop. I get tired of people saying, your price is cheap. Oh, y'all, I'm from Mars like y'all are. That is an insult. Scorpio, imagine somebody saying, Girl, your outfit cheap. Would you want to slap their ass or come back with something real witty but yet cutting and hit their ass with this thing? So you can understand where I'm coming from, okay? So I am trying to um, love myself a little more, okay? And that comes with valuing myself, all right? So if you do want a personal, hit me up. I am available. Um, I do offer same-day readings. If I can get you scheduled the same day, I'm going to, okay? If not, it'll be delayed. Worst case scenario will be the next day, but... I don't make people wait for answers forever. It makes no sense. What's the purpose in you waiting if I need answers? I understand y'all Scorpio. I do. I get it. Okay? So we rocking. This will be from the 1st to the 15th of September for the sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign of Scorpio. Right? So first, y'all know how we rock out. I first pulled a uh, angel message for you guys. It comes from the Doreen Virtue Oracle cards with the crystal angel messages. Okay? So the card that you guys pulled, beautiful card, was Ruby. Bless your heart. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. Forgiveness, y'all coming into terms with yourself, that harmony, okay? Um, you receive this card because your heart needs some tender love and care, TLC, following a loss of the or the ending of a relationship. You're grieving and could use a reassuring hug with your guardian angels. I'm sorry, which your guardian angels are giving you now. This can also be a sign to reach out for emotional support after a breakup. In some cases, this card may mean that your physical heart needs care and attention. Perhaps a healthful dietary or ex a healthful dietary or exercise change or medical intervention is needed. This can also be a sign to connect with the Sacred Heart of Jesus for spiritual healing and purification. God is blessing your heart and guiding you to take the path that's true and right for you. Okay, so fuck the outside. Take a deep breath. And on releasing Scorpio, say, fuck that. Fuck that shit. Right? Certain things you cannot control. 
Stop trying to. Let God do his job. All right. I do feel for some of y'all during this time, a lot of y'all are going to be balancing the mind and the body. OK, some of y'all are healing from a relationship, possibly with the Libra. OK, I feel like some of y'all are coming into terms with how to communicate with people better. All right. With healing the body and the mind, a lot of y'all are feeling more so aligned. OK, you're feeling back in that vibration of love, your normal energy as so above. I mean, as above, so below, you bring the beauty to things. That's the fixed part of your nature. So some of y'all are adapting very well to change during this time. Some of y'all are learning how to um, learn how to communicate effectively. Some of y'all defi are definitely dealing with an Aquarius. This person can be very cutting. Okay, I feel like this person is also going through a spiritual awakening. Okay, and usually I would not put signs within y'all spiritual messages, but it's very adamant because for some of y'all, this person is a twin flame to you, and in the nice form. Spirit don't want you to fuck that up. Okay. Um, and for some of y'all, you know, you're finding that harmony within yourself, okay? But for some of y'all, Spirit is calling for you to balance yourself during this time because you're going on quite the journey. Some of y'all are just starting to take take your journey seriously. During this time, some of y'all are coming out of that dark past, coming out of those dark thoughts, dark feelings, okay? Y'all are ruled by Pluto, so darkness is not always a bad thing. Uh, what, what other signs can embrace and Scorpios can embrace is their own authenticity other people may not know that okay i'm 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 kind of going through these little energies because y'all keep y'all emotions very close to the chest like other water signs they let that shit out but y'all actually keep it close to your chest you play chess you play emotional chess and spirit is calling for that to stop to seize to express yourself if something hurts you let a motherfucker know you hurting my feelings motherfucker. watch how be careful with me okay watch how you handling me all right so a lot of y'all are choosing to look at things from a different perspective. And instead of saying, okay, this is what happened to me, y'all looking at it during this time of this is what happened for me. Some of y'all are, um, some of y'all are moving away from third party relationships. I feel like you were dealing with a water sign in the past to put you in a third party. You're moving away from this person. Okay. But for some of y'all, it's all how you perceive your perception of things. Okay. Your perception of things will definitely be changing between the 1st and the 15th of September. The things that you once gave a fuck about, you won't even find half of a fuck to give during this time. Okay? You're going to learn during this time what really matters and what really doesn't. You're going to move forward with what, what you need and leave the shit behind that you don't. Period. Okay? I do see during this time a lot of y'all could. Some of y'all are moving into new shmoney. <laughs> New shmoney, but you could also receive an offer, possibly, or be given an offer to an Aries um, or an Earth sign. Some of y'all are moving into, uh, some of y'all are getting promotions to be a boss, okay? Some of y'all are also um, trying to start your own business. It's looking real fruitful, baby. Keep it going. Keep going. You got this. Keep going. Because I feel like some of y'all might find yourself falling in your getting in your head. And then all kind of shit start happening and breaking loose. Okay. For some of y'all, you're going to have a time moment possibly with an Aries or another Scorpio like yourself. I do feel like oh, this person could have Aries and Scorpio in a chart, Spirit said. But I am feeling that um some of y'all are going to be cutting off Capricorn towards Virgo. This person has been trying to keep you around due to finances because now your finances are kind of, um, your finances are growing. You're, you're, you're going through an expansive period as far as stabilizing yourself. Okay. Your finances looking good. Now this person got to come with their authentic self. And you may realize and come to terms with outside that money that I was letting you control me with. I really don't even like your authentic self. So now. That way, that way records, I don't want it, okay? So I do feel like some of y'all are going to be moving in that energy during this time. Okay, let's see. Spirit, please show me between the 1st and 15th of September for my Scorpios. Scorpio! Y'all my babies. Yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all have a towel moment coming in, possibly with the Capricorn. Some of y'all, you have someone very negative within your energy. It's like you're pushing towards positive things for every positive goal that you have. This person finds a negative aspect of it and you're moving away from that shit. Some of y'all are kind of indecisive about, uh, indecisive about taking a leap of faith to start something over with an Aries. Okay. Whoa. With an Aries. Or some of y'all intuitively know that this person could possibly have someone else or maybe you're not sure. Some of y'all, um, some of y'all are going after what you want. Straight like that. Some of y'all, uh, your wish fulfillment and love is going to come in the form of a water sign. I feel like you keep hearing that during these readings, but you feel like this person toxic as fuck. How? 
you know how Gina but let me tell you how uh, you have to get over you have to communicate the things that are sitting deep deep within the midst of your heart what do you feel Scorpio Okay, that there's something in the past about this person that they did hurt your feelings, okay? Because you have victory when you move forward. Some of y'all taking a leap of faith and going ahead and going and trusting this damn Leo during this time. Y'all got a Leo on your ass. This person loves you, okay? And they want to be with you, okay? But for some of y'all, it's that perception. You need to take a leap of faith and have that blind faith in order for things to just roll smoothly how you need them to roll. Some of y'all are very indecisive about a Gemini as well. Um, y'all showed up a lot in their reading too, but some of y'all are very indecisive as far as it pertains to a Gemini. Scorpio, why are you holding other people's burdens? During this time, y'all gonna put the burdens of other people, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. You gonna put that shit down. I'm over it, okay? I, I, I named y'all mid-month August going after what I want or going to go get what I want, something like that. I do see some of y'all winning got what you wanted, okay? But I feel like Change starts within the self as well. You can't expect for things on the on the outside to be what, what it is that you want if you haven't done the work on the inside in order to change you to attract that situation that you need in your life. Okay? Whoa, Scorpio, somebody in y'all life is all out of whack. Okay? In y'all energy. Spirit, why is this King of Pentacles here for my Scorpios? From the 1st to the 15th of September. Yep. Some of y'all could be a Taurus, okay? You have a Taurus. Some of y'all are relationship dynamic, especially if you have children with this person. There could be changes to the uh, to the relationship. If this person wasn't helping you financially in the past, they're going to start doing so, and they're going to be more supportive, okay? But I feel like for some of y'all, they're offering this a little bit too late because you found somebody else who you vibe with and who you can see yourself building with and creating with. For some of y'all, it's a Libra. For some of y'all, it's an Aries. For some of y'all, it's a Pisces. And for some of y'all, it's a Taurus, okay? Um, whew, I feel like you wanted this new beginning possibly with a fire sign in the past. You kind of was emotional wreck behind it. You felt like this person wasn't seeing you the way that you wanted them to see you. Um, that's getting ready to change, okay? I do still feel like there is some changes coming in around the element of uh, fire. Some of y'all could also have a Gemini Libra Aquarius. This person wants a new beginning with you. This person wants to move forward, but you don't know about that because I feel like your heart is elsewhere. For some of y'all, it's with an Aries. For some of y'all, it's with a Taurus. For some of y'all, it's with a Gemini. For some of y'all, it's with a Leo. Um... Some of y'all, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, okay, I feel like especially if you're married to this person, some of y'all could definitely expect a child moment between the 1st and the 15th of September. I feel like there's definitely, this person is just worse than hell for some of y'all, straight like that. You're going to actually trust your intuition and move towards what it is that's going to make you happy, Scorpio, okay? And for some of y'all, I feel like that's with this fire sign. And for some of y'all, with another air sign. Also with water. Yeah. Some of y'all have a very arrogant ass Virgo in y'all life, okay? And you just feel like, you know what? I got one mama. That's it, okay? I don't need no other damn parent. Talk to me, not at me. You got me fucked up. Y'all gonna let this person know that too. Why is the devil card here? Yeah. Some of y'all, it starts with the mind again. Quit crying over spilled milk, okay? Because you're able to, especially if you're dealing with water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like some of y'all have a brand new beginning coming, a very fruitful beginning, something that you've actually been trying to manifest and bring into your world. Somebody supportive, somebody nurturing, somebody full of love, somebody very passionate. However, you stuck on what happened in the past. Well, last time I gave a person my heart, they did this here, so they can't have my heart. They got to have my mind and my and my representative face. They got to die, Scorpio. Let that roll off your back. Okay, baby? Because this person, for some of y'all, is a wish fulfillment. Some of y'all going to get y'all wish fulfillment in the form of a Leo. Okay? Um, Scorpio, a lot of y'all are also chasing your passions during this time. Whatever it is, especially if you're a writer, you're a singer, during this time, the thing that you're passionate about is going to be very fruitful for you. You just got to push and promote and believe in yourself. Okay? During this time, some of y'all got to be your own best friend and your biggest star player. All right? Your star player. You got to be the person to tell yourself every day. Look in the mirror. Mm, you fine. Mm, is that a new beauty? Girl, you is. You fine. Bro. <laughs> I look good. I mean, you know, I'm talented. I'm smart or whatever. You know, I got that little finesse about me. I got a little oomph sauce. I got, this, I got the juice. You know, some of y'all going to let somebody know. Look, I got the juice. You ain't dripping enough. Back, back. Right, uh, 
Some of y'all are kind of indecisive about possibly reuniting the family situation. I feel like in the past, y'all went through a very karmatic. Y'all went through a very tumultuous past. And I'm seeing Taurus here. I'm seeing Leo here. I'm seeing uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in the building. Pretty much all the elements here on this in this particular subject except for Earth. But I am seeing that you want to reunite a family. Some of y'all are going into a different cycle with a new cycle as far as family goes, and it comes with understanding. Some of y'all definitely want to reunite with the Aries, but I feel like in the past, either you put this person in the third party, or this person put you in the third party situation, okay? Some of y'all are trying to renew the love. Y'all have a Leo. Scorpio, you got a Leo in your energy. This person is sorry, Scorpio. Oh my God, they sorry. They are sorry. Forgive them. They sorry, okay? They didn't mean to do it, all right? Some of y'all are walking away from everybody and everything, focusing on your money, and that's a good look, too. Some of y'all who are looking to move or you're starting the process to move, your move is going to be abundant. It's going to look good for you, especially if you're taking it on blind faith, like, fuck it. I can't, I can't win for losing. What else I got to lose? You get what I'm saying? I'm going to jump out there. <laughs> Jumping out there is going to make you walk into the, one of the best periods that you had in a long time. Some of y'all... Some of y'all are going to resurrect a situation that was dead or that you felt like was dead, okay? You have everything that you need. You've gone through the wisdom, okay, through this journey. You've, you've gone through the hurt, the, the pains of love. You've gone through some type of financial losses to know how to get it out the mud, okay? To know how to rebuild your finances from, from make something out of nothing. You also know how to communicate with people, okay? But you're learning how to be not so cutting when you communicate. And there's passion in, in the city. And you also have passion Standing behind you at all times, all right? I do see something that y'all were doing in the past. You're going to be walking away from it, whether it's a job, person, strong air energy, Gemini, Libra, Chris. I see y'all moving away from air. I feel like you're being defensive towards this person because this person wants a family. They want a family dynamic. However, I feel like how you want a family and you don't know how to talk when it's just me and you. You going to bring some kids in this dysfunctional shit? No, sis. No, bro, I'm good. I'm good, love, and joy. <laughs> Some of y'all, this air sign is going to feel heartbroken. But I feel like you want to find the harmony within self. Yeah, some of y'all definitely going to be cutting off a Gemini Libra Aquarius. You're going to move forward successfully, possibly with fire. For some of y'all, you're going to be by yourself. Some of y'all, you're moving towards. Some of y'all, you're going to have a victorious move going forward with a Gemini. For some of y'all, you're moving towards fire. Aries, Leo, Sag, because you want to reunite with your Aries, your Leo, your Sag, you feel like this is my lover. I didn't put the work in in the past. We didn't put the work in in the past how we could have gone, but this is what I want to do. Yeah, some of y'all definitely want to reunite. Aries has been in the building, okay? Y'all definitely thinking about reuniting with an Aries, okay, and working on something. Some of y'all uh, who have just started a new job in the last three weeks, three months, three days, you've been trying to hold on to your job. Within the third week of you being at this new job, baby, some of y'all could be receiving some type of promotion of you temporary. They may want to keep you permanency. I do see permanency around temporary situations. Um, also, some of y'all got an earth sign holding on to y'all, okay? This person, you love this person, but this person is, they, they, they borderline narcissistic. If it's fixable, Scorpio, Fix it. If you love this person, there is no such thing as a perfect person, okay? Everybody who you deal with going to have some type of flaw. It's up to you to point out or recognize, is this is this a bit too fucking much for me? Or is this something that I could tweak and grow with? I could definitely grow from it with understanding. You know, it's not... It's not what's going on. It's how you look at it during this time, okay? Because y'all actually got some beautiful shit going on, but it's more so about the self and literally bringing that restoration back to yourself. A lot of y'all have already been in that energy, but in September, you're going to move in it. Your money is looking good. Love is looking good. You just need to, you need to communicate with these people that I'm seeing in this reading. What I will not accept, what I will not be having, what your ass ain't going to do in my world, and... This, if, if we're going to move forward, let's do it. But we ain't going to move forward without taking care of this first. Though. About that, though. Okay? Definitely get them right. All right? This is what I have for y'all between the 1st and the 15th of September, baby. If you need that personal, hit me up. Holla at the kid. I love y'all very much, my babies, in advance. Thank you for the like, shares, the comments. Y'all be showing out. Okay? Um, Y'all, I can't thank y'all enough for the support. I humbly, truly appreciate y'all. I 
am able to <laughs> beam this little, I'm not going to cry. I'm able to beam this light of mine out and literally see the fruit of my labor through what I see in these cards, the growth, the, the evolution, the self-love, the every, and I'm just, I'm y'all, I'm thankful for y'all. Thank you so much for allowing my life to show. Thank you so much for taking what I give and the things that I've lived through to be even be able to give you this, okay? <laughs> because there was once a point of time where I lived in a place of pain. And as a Scorpio, I have, I feel like I don't want to cry, but I have to because y'all can truly feel me on this, okay? Know that when the universe is working, nothing is ever against you. It's always for you, no matter how you look at it, because I'm so proud of y'all. Y'all walking into a space of newness. You're walking into a space of letting go, self-reflecting, and how can I be better, okay? So for this, thank you for putting this much love into yourself <laughs> and for allowing me to see that. Y'all are listening to me. Not only are you listening, but you're moving. The God in me right now wants to say, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, my babies. I love y'all. And I want to see y'all continue to win. Win, 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 win. <laughs> All I got to ask Scorpios is to win, 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 win. <laughs> because y'all have gone through such a rough last six months. Few signs. Y'all have gone through so many rough patches. And y'all coming out right now like cloaks and daggers. <laughs> Solid. I'm proud of y'all. Keep going. You got this. And for those of you who ain't got nobody to tell you they proud of you, I'm proud of you, baby. I love you, baby. Keep it moving. Because you got to win, 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 win. This for you. Bye, y'all. Got me crying and shit. No, I'm a, no, I'm a G. <laughs> Bye, my babies. I love y'all.